welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh, today we're in Barstow and we're going to where the heck were we going was it Yuma or Las Vegas I forget let's have a look start it up it'll tell us Yuma right so uh, yeah we'll have a look at the route Barstow on down 15 10 111 8 Yuma and it's rail export to rail export, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, the, the route, the length is okay, considering we're in California. And we've got this Kings County thing going on again, but I forgot how to, uh, I gotta look up how I paint the SCS tanker again, because it's got that chrome look. And I've got that mod in place, but I've got to do something to the paint job. I forget what it was, so I'll, I'll do that and get this skin out but properly and anyway in the meantime let's uh, hop in and get going have ourselves a nice drive um, let's see we're good so oh boy I spent all day Tuesday except for the last maybe hour or so to put this skin on this trailer. Working on trying to figure out how to make a better video with OBS. And uh, oh my God, what a mess. Anyway, maybe we got something that's not bad now. We'll see, see what you think of the video. So once again, I've changed my headset to my wired headset, moved my wireless to the other PC, and I have this uh, boom mic again over here, so it looks like that's just the way it's going to be. I gotta give those AI more room than you would think. Let them get their little hissy fit, hitting the brakes out of the way. Uh oh. Gotta slow down. It's shifting here at this 13 speed. Shifting it like I have an 18 in here and too quickly. So I need to, oh, there's a uh, King's trailer up there. Uh, I need to keep work on this. Oh, the screen, it's much brighter. You probably noticed. Thank you. Uh, I was running my monitor too dark. So I changed my monitor settings. That's brightened it up quite a bit. It's too bad we don't have the, uh, the viewer we can, but you can see it. Things look pretty good, but other than the, uh, uh, you know, we're probably going to have stutters going on or whatever. I'd really like to figure out how to uh, get a better recording. I've got 50,000 pounds on. I guess I should be over there in that left lane or right lane. Some of these guys are going to dart out in front of us here. Nobody? No takers? Oh, Montana Express. Double. What is going on there? Uh, 
That was weird. So I tried to, you know, once again today I did about probably somewhere between 70 and 80 test video clips. Like I just, uh, you know, I'd get in one of the yards with the, uh, you know, the Jap garage thing and I'd just drive it all around a couple times and see what, uh, they just try different settings. I was just trying to change one thing at a time and stick with something when I'd find it, but gotta admit, I didn't find much. Um, you know, maybe it's just. Right. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. Maybe my PC isn't good enough to make a good video. Thousand pounds, fifty thousand seven oh six. They're pretty heavy. But this trailer, when I get the uh, base coat mod thing working out right again, it's gonna look pretty good. It'll really pop with the truck. But I'm out of out of time to mess with that today, uh, Tuesday. That is. So, like, I'm kind of, like, I'm not going to be in a big hurry. I, I, I'm really sorry to say about putting out all these skins I've been working on and the garage skins and stuff until I can get my recording dilemma fixed and stable. Because, you know, I go along, I get it working, and I go bouncing along thinking everything's good. And everything, you know, comes up and kicks me right in the old daddy berries. And uh, I'm not into it. It's got a. I just want something stable. If there's a paid recording software out there that people know about that's worth it, I, I'm into it. Like I just I need something better than OBS because OBS works, and then it doesn't work. That works again for a long period of time, and then it doesn't work. I. I'm at a loss. Anyway, let's not worry about it right now. Just drive. gonna have to put that uh, little alpha layer on top of the mud flaps they're a little bright I, I didn't put it on for this one partly because the mud flaps have a, um, a red outline around the Kings so, uh, let's see if we can see. no it's a dark red it looks black and so it doesn't show up on the mud flap. So I thought I'd try the mud flaps without that alpha and see if uh, they would improve the look of them, but they just look too bright, so. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that's something I can do. As for the broken rib, it's broken. <laughs> There's no doubt. But I can do a lot of stuff. It's not, it's actually, I guess it's in not a bad place. I'd really prefer if it was on my left side. But, like if I got my arm, like out here, it's fine. It's when I'm pushing more straight ahead or across the front, doing something over here. If I got my arm out here, it goes pretty good. Um, 
Yeah, it's, it's not super, super bad. It's definitely broken, but it's, I can tell from other times I've had broken ribs that uh, this is not terrible. Keep right after 50 yards, exit right ahead. Not one where I had three broken ribs. They were badly broken, and man, that took a while. Oh, boy. Exit right ahead. Like, I can... Yesterday, I was having trouble getting out of a chair, but I got myself sitting in a chair. Turn right. And trying to get out of it, but today it's easier already, and I'm figuring out how to deal with it, so things are it's not going to be terrible. Probably be hopefully healed up in a couple weeks, but I probably should be doing everything I'd always do in five or six days, I think. I love this truck, man. I like this truck. I'm gonna have to... Let's see. I think I'm going to put a little... Well, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Still toying with the idea of putting a very dim layer over the fuel tank. The red on the fuel tank. Of a very faint alpha layer. Dull them up just a bit. I also was uh, toying with the idea of doing a Mac R in this paint job. Other than one that would look cool would be uh, the uh, BPM Kenworth needle nose. It's like a nice, long, calm lake to race hydroplanes on. <laughs> they call them hydroplanes, so they call them... Well, the Unlimited Class, they call them, don't they call them Thunderboats now or something crazy? Or are they still the Unlimited Hydro Class? So this, uh, com please comment on the video and let me know Go if the straight. graphics are doable or am I just reading too much into it and you guys are happy with what you're seeing or do I know how to keep, I got to keep messing around with it. And if I get it, so part of the reason, like I was kind of intrigued with that sonar thing, I uh, uninstalled it today because it's getting in the way of just because I had installed it and it kind of gets in everywhere. It wants to control all your audio devices and I want to just cut back to excuse me cut it right back to the basics and um, try and get the OBS settings right where the OBS setting the OBS is recording properly and when it does when I get that the way I want it then I could reintroduce it and try some audio tuning again it's certainly not worth doing that right now well this looks awful familiar this road right here I've been on this one a bunch way back when the game came out El Centro It just looks familiar because El Centro, I think, is uh, Reforma. But darn it, this intersection. Yeah. Yeah, straight. yeah, this traffic light. Yeah, there's the farm right there, ADM. Yep. Used to come into that farm a bunch. I can't wait to get this trailer figured out. 
I did the uh, all the skins, like I mean the full enchilada, mud flaps every trailer. You can do all the combos. It, <laughs> I forgot about this mod, so I got to uh, got to read up on that again. So I had it working for the Ice Mountain uh, water skin. So not like I can't do it again. shift <laughs> in a race with this guy here now he's got the drop on me that really makes a uh, when you lose momentum in a truck it's brutal in real life it's set that's why I, you know I haven't said it in quite a while I will say it again when you're driving in your car or pickup or whatever you're driving try not to impede the progress of a, of a dude in a semi you don't want to make them have to slow down unnecessarily. If you can avoid it, do it. The guy thing, you know, you all know he's sitting there going, oh man, what a good person. But he will appreciate it. And, because uh, any little bit you slow down, it's not like in a car or whatever, you just tap the throttle and you're back, you're going again. You lose that momentum in a truck and boy, it's a struggle getting it back sometimes. My mic. I get used to this thing sitting here in front of me. Oh boy. I'll get this darn YouTube thing figured out eventually. It's not like I haven't been doing it for two years or something. <laughs> oh god. Sometimes I think I'm pretty pathetic. Let's see if we can be patient enough to get through the gears this time without making a mess of it. There's her. Try and get out here and see the truck when it comes around the light. I got the monitor colors the way they are here. Oops, we're going all over. Things look pretty good. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I split a gear in low range, which does nothing in a uh, 13 speed. Um, totally sh should have been driving instead of looking at the truck. Uh oh, make that guy nervous. It's hard to drive from that angle. Looks cool though. I should do a drive-by. Boy, that drive-by is from far away. <laughs> that's all, that's kind of crazy hard too. Let's it get far away. So down here, we're gonna run into that guy.
Well, that was fun. So, just in case you're wondering, like the video might look bad to you guys, I don't know how it's looking in the video, how it comes across and whatever you're watching it on, because I haven't even rendered it yet, I'm making it. <laughs> but, it sure looks good in the game right now for me, playing it. This pro profile, the frame rates are locked at 60. I'm not running the frame counter. I'm uh, not, the GPU isn't boosted or anything. It's all just default. So we're not getting a performance increase from having the uh, GPU turned up or anything. a lot like SES. Let's see, do I not have uh, Mexico in here? Oh, I don't. Okay. Oh, boy. I was thinking this drive and the um, what do you call them? Um, the human didn't look right. And it's because this is, I don't I, well, sorry, I shouldn't say right or wrong, but doesn't look like the SCS version because, or sorry, uh, Reforma. And I've been driving down here a whole bunch in the Reforma version lately. Hit the trigger. Come on. There we go. Got to get fuel in this thing. Our range is 171 miles. Uh, what? Oh no. Where should I place it? Yeah, we can't back this one up. It's an A train. See how we did here. That looks pretty good. Yeah, the uh, the colors, the way everything looks, and this bright. I don't know. Is this crazy? I I don't know. Does it look too bright or too much detail? I don't know. I'm kind of down with it myself. Like in, from like I say, from my perspective, running the game, it looks great. 
Not sure how it comes across, but I will know after I render the video, and then maybe all my questions to you will be answer them myself. So there we are. Another job in the books. Just loving these this whole deal. Now let's do a real quick uh it's uh do 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 what we gotta do we gotta go right here. We're gonna go no we don't need to do that. Let's go to quick travel. Nope. That's not what I want either. Garage manager. There we go. Oh geez, so I hit purchase. Man. Can't get good help. Map view. We'll just travel over here real quick. 16 bucks. It's up on the hill by the Peterbilt dealership. And see how this one looks. And the see it really pops. It stands out a lot better. Oops. Why is it doing that? Because the sign or the uh lamp post. But I think things just look better. Everything's more visible. Um the trailers look better with this uh, desktop color I've got going on. But the sun's in the wrong place to look at the sides of the trucks. Unfortunately, it's kind of overhead for the trucks and trailers. Anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. As always, really appreciate you following along. And uh, we will get this thing sorted out sooner or later and get back on track and get some skins out. So... There's lots in the works right now. Man, I got a whole plate full of skins that are almost ready to go. So we'll carry on. Take care. As always, I appreciate you following along. And bye for now.